have pipe cleaners. Now these pipe cleaners are not just regular pipe cleaners. They're pipe cleaners on steroids. They're pretty thick. And so what you have to do is cut out enough pieces of the pipe cleaner to shove in the one end of the straw and fold over to connect to the other one. Some of the straws require five pipe cleaners to be able to connect to all the other pieces. Okay? Miss one of those, and if you're under the ocean, your structure could fail. Out in space, you could float away. In Haiti, another earthquake might collapse your dome. Right? As an engineer and as a technologist, critical thinking to us means that when something fails, there's going to be a loss of life or a loss of your quality of life or a loss of major resources like a waterway, a watershed, a half of a mountain, a mudslide out in California. Okay, coral designs mean that there's going to be something happening to human or vegetation or animal life. That's not cool. So putting on that hat, I want you to think about when we look at the joints where all the things come together, make sure that all of the straws are joined together because that's a non-negotiable. Is that clear? So what's your challenge? Let me see if I can draw on someone. Where's Brandon Bridge? Brandon, what's your challenge, number one? Uh, to make it a geodesic dome. Geodesic dome, and we have all the directions and all the parts, so there's a no-brainer there, right? And then what's the second task? Once that gets underway, Eileen? Or Eileen? Or Tolene? Oh. I'm sorry. I have a sister named Eileen, so I didn't see the T. Uh, yes? Uh, wait, what was the question? What's the second challenge? Build a geodesic dome, and what's the other part that everyone has to do? Uh, I'd like to find a purpose for it. Find a purpose, and you'll use graph paper to help you organize that. Now, what I've done is I have cut patterns for the, geo the, the basically the bottom of your geodesic dome, or the foundations. So you won't have to sit there and figure out this time how to do all the math to get a perfect decagon. Okay? Next time, we'll get you. But all these are again perfectly set up so that once you figure that out, you will glue graph paper on here and then use triangles and that to put in doorways or make the drawing of whatever your item is going to be. Cool? Why, other than shipping, is my last question that I'll give you the information. Besides shipping materials to Haiti, and I don't mean to just pick on Haiti, but it's, it's relevant today. Why would a geodesic dome work in what we would call an under, underdeveloped um, country? <laughs> because it's like, uh, it can be shipped there easily. Ship there easy the materials. What else? Uh, are they easy to make? They're real easy to make. They're inexpensive. Okay, I can cover them in a number of different things. I can build a dome out of plastic and just fill it with air to keep all the water and rain stuff out. Okay, but I got to have a little bit of structure. I can't have some animal come plopping down in my house to make for a bad day for me. Right? But think a little bit deeper. Yes? Good protection. Good protection. Would you want here in Maryland a dome house? Other side of being cool. What's the problem with a dome house as opposed to a smart house? Just kidding. Yes? The snow? Maybe, but if we have our good structure, snow shouldn't be an element. Like fly on it? Fly on it, yeah, make for a bad day. Okay, throwing stones at your glass house. But think about everything in your house. What would be affected by it being by a dome? <coughs> All right. You have a furniture. Awesome. Okay? As I have a dome, once I put my dresser, my cabinet there, I have all this space behind it, don't I? My couch, all this wasted space. Well, in underdeveloped countries, they don't have furniture like we have. They actually sleep on bed rolls. So they could actually sleep right along on the other side of the, of the, of the dome and still have a lot of public area or a lot of room to stand up and move around in the dome. Pretty cool trade-off. If you, if you ask the people who get dogs.
I guess. No, you're putting three down. It doesn't tell you how many you'll be cutting. It tells you how many you cut up. So ten straws into four inch equal pieces. Tom, I don't see how you three inch recorders. That's your inventory. What? That's your goal for today. But isn't that like a waste? Just can't. No, these are cut them all. That's our. That's fresh.